Welcome, Gemini and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What needs to be known, seen, and understood. Under here we do have romance. So this does feel like it's in regards to love. We have healing here. And we have this situation will improve. So it's not always going to feel like this. You know, they're actually... Maybe something to look forward to here in regards to love. Let's take a look and see. All right, what is the energy here? What needs to be known, seen, and understood? What is going on for the Gemini Collective? I'm seeing the number four, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the duck into fours. Some of you might be seeing that number, numbers and synchronicities all around you. Okay. Ooh. So you are connecting with someone that you do really like. Ooh, this. Okay. Uh, is this like a family friend or something? Like someone you have history with that you're connecting with? And it's almost like... Um, I mean, this could be like someone that your family knows or maybe someone much older than you. What is this? Ten of Wands with the Two of Wands, the King of Cups, the Empress, Queen of Wands. This could be like, for some of you, this could be like a family friend or some kind of work type situation. I feel like you know this person. Like, I don't feel like you have like a full-blown relationship with them, but I feel like this person's kind of been there for you. Like, this could be a friend of yours. Someone that maybe you're seeing in a very different light now. Or maybe you've always kind of liked this person, but it's like somehow now it's changing. Like somehow something has happened here. This feels specific. I need to give me just a second here to sit with this because I feel like this is kind of complicated. It's like this is a like you were almost afraid to pursue this before because you're afraid it's going to mess things up or afraid that your friendship would not be the same if it didn't work out or but like you always kind of had attraction to this person you've always kind of had feelings for this person you've always liked this person but now it's like more than just like it's like romantic feelings that are there like something that's brewing developing between the two of you there's so much potential here it's kind of like now i see why it didn't work out with anybody else because really the person that i was meant to be with has been right here in front of me the whole time or like within your proximity maybe you have like very close like inner circles to each other you know all right let, let's just let's just go right right in here okay so two healing the situation will improve two of cups you really like this person like when you see this person it's more than just like you know passionate or desire it's like you really get along well with this person you're very compatible to this person you know you have a lot of similar interests or things in common you know you you work so well together two of cups it's friendship like companionship like you're there for each other you can support each other it's very balanced it's very giving equal fair two of cups And it feels like somehow there's this, like you're entering this new phase with this person. Like it's very playful, it's suddenly very flirtatious, like it's somehow changing in like this very positive or very challenging, kind of playful. It's, I don't know, it's really interesting. It's like, yes, there's always been like, you know, I think, I think this person's attractive or you can tell that they think you're attractive, but it's more than that. It's like somehow now it's beginning to like act on it. Like things are beginning to shift between the two of you. Like you could work with this person and like there's always just been kind of interest, but like never like taking that next step. But then all of a sudden like this person's beginning to like ask you questions. Like, what are you doing later? 
oh, I love bowling, you know, and like, oh, you want to come? And it's, it's like, it's something like that. It's like, um, this person's taking like, an interest outside of like your professional relationship or your normal relationship. Like you've known this person, but it's like suddenly how it's new. It's like, I don't know how, to, I can't, I cannot put it to words. It's different. Your relationship is evolving. It's changing. I can't give it, I, can, I cannot peg it. It's, um, Ooh, this is interesting. I, I think I think what I'm seeing here is two really different stories. Number one, this could be a family friend, and this person might actually be older than you. Um, and you're worried how your family, maybe a father figure or someone would, or an older brother maybe would perceive the relationship because of the age difference. For others of you, I think you actually work with this person. They may even be like a superior to you or like within your company and it's like you've always had like a friendly relationship but you know pleasant but somehow your relationship has changed to something more than that. Now it's becoming kind of flirtatious and it's very it's very playful, it's very light, it's very you know, exciting, inviting a little bit. It's like just kind of getting to know each other further on like a more intimate level. Uh, and that's where it's like two very different scenarios here. So wherever that resonates for you, okay. Um, now your person, I think they're really concerned that people are going to find out about your relationship. Uh, they're worried of people, how people will react to it, whether this is a family or a work relationship, what they would say, you know, maybe they would try to deter it or try to come between the two of you or say that it's not a good idea. They're kind of nervous. So it's like they're not trying to, like, you know, be loud or obnoxious with anything, but it's like it's, hmm, they're kind of just waiting for an opportunity, you know, when you can be together, when you can see each other. They don't, you know, want it to be over the top at this time it's still kind of new you know it, I think that this person just is not ready for people to publicly know about it until the two of you really know what's happening because things are evolving but you know it's not it's not like beyond like the dating or like getting to know each other on a more intimate level stage it's not like anything's officialized yet the thing about it is I think this person really does want things to move forward they they are very hopeful now what's between you is the emperor now i get like i said i see this one of two ways either there's a boss that kind of like comes between the two of you it's like get back to work kind of thing and you pretend like you're not interested in each other that you're just working on a project or something like that or that there's like some kind of family type person who is somehow like protective of you or protective of this person and it somehow is an issue but with the emperor though i think that you both are kind of like looking out for each other hmm. it's like you're trying to kind of progress things but it's almost like quietly you know behind the scenes you know not making a big scene about it about your relationship or about your affection toward each other it's like it's not that you're hiding your relationship but it's like you just haven't gone openly with it yet because maybe people would not perceive it the way that you hope that they would it's like right now you want things to get better now some of you may have been through a very challenging past relationship so there could be somebody like very protective of you this person could be very protective of you they might have like been there for you through some kind of ending or vice versa like maybe you were there when they were healing from a situation I think ultimately they're saying that your relationship with this person, things are going to be improving. Things are going to get better. There's romance here. There's mutual affection, attraction. It's not easy right now. You definitely want to be together. You want to spend time together. But it's like the opportunity isn't there, has not been there at present. Six of Cups being the obstacle, the challenge. It's your history to each other. Whether it regards to family or like a working relationship and your fear of, of how things will change. If it doesn't work out between you, how would that affect your relationship with this family friend or this co-worker that you also have to see every day or work together closely with? So there's fears in regards to that. Possibly even uh, something about a past relationship that someone is still very much healing from. Six of Cups. For some of you, like I said, this could be a friend of yours, like somebody that you've, you know, had a connection with for a long time, but now it's like taking it to that romantic level. It's like almost surprising because this person feels like family. And again, I get like this working type relationship.
this person's thoughts about you. We have the King of Pentacles. So you could have heavy earth in your charge. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, which you don't have to. I also have Aries strongly here. Pisces strongly here. I think obviously it could be any sign that you're dealing with. What are their thoughts about you? That you work a lot or that you have a lot of responsibilities. That your family greatly depends on you. That you try to take on a lot. That you're very responsible, but it's also they feel like you're stressed so that you can get easily overwhelmed like you don't know how to relax. Don't take that as an insult. It's like this person sees you as someone who's very ambitious, very hardworking, very driven. You, know, you have a lot of goals and ambitions that you're constantly striving to achieve, which is a very positive thing, but you also, they may see you as a bit stubborn, like you know you hold on to a lot or you uh, never really get a break, that you're very overwhelmed, there's a lot going on for you, that you're trying to kind of even though things are difficult right now, it's like you're trying to kind of maintain everything. Like, it's like they're there for you. Um, some of them, again, take what resonates, leave what does not. Some of the energies can be flipped or reversed. They may see like maybe you are separated from a, a long-term partner, and that's been very difficult for you. Or they, or you, or you see them that way. Like it's been. Can you get another clarifier here for their thoughts, please? Another clarifier for their thoughts, please. Another clear. Oh, well, that was simple enough. Did you see that? Um, that you're maybe starting something new or that, you, that you're working toward a specific goal. They think that, you know, they can have a future with you, but it's not going to be easy. It's going to be challenging, but ultimately they see you as like someone they could be committed to, someone that they could have something long term with, someone they feel very compatible to. But again, I do get the strong emphasis of a very large age gap. You know, like maybe one of you is in your 20s and the other one is like in their late 40s or something like that. Um, I also kept getting like 31, 31. Um, so you could be seeing 11, 11, 333, 31, 13, something like that. But their feelings, four of wands. So they feel like you're somebody that they could have a very stable, long-term, committed partnership, celebration, stability with, someone that they feel very compatible with, someone they feel like is a soulmate. Can we clarify their feelings, please? What are they feeling? Any fears, insecurities? Four of Wands clarifying the Four of Wands. Some of, like I said, 11, 11. Some of you could um, feel that this person's your twin flame. Even they may feel this, you may feel this. You may be even like look recently looking into like what is a twin flame or how do you know if someone is your twin flame or your soulmate, like what those differences are. Um, the best way I can describe that is not everyone has a twin flame, it is a, a rare connection. Um, but that person's a part of your soul, you know. This, this is a topic that I could go on and on and on, on and on, on about it forever, but um. We all have soulmates in life, and we can have many soulmates. Some soulmates are friends, some are family, and some are lovers. Some are in our lives for a short period, just briefly. Some are in and out of our lives as we need them. Some teach us things, and some soulmates come in long term, forever. Um, the biggest thing I can say to describe it is a soulmate is like a lock and a key. You just fit together so well. You complement each other so well. It just feels right. You feel kind of at home with that person. A twin flame is like you're a key and they're a key. You're the same. You mirror each other. You know, um, you can complement each other in different ways, but ultimately it's like looking into a reflection of yourself. Okay? Um, because they are you. Um, so you may, you may question that or, fe or feel that or just know that there's some kind of spiritual tie between you and this person. And they feel like you are the person that they want to be with long term. You feel like home to them, and I did. I did get that before. Um, their intentions here. We had the Page of Pentacles. They want to start something, but I, but I will say I don't feel like this person like wants to like run off to Vegas and get married. It's like this person, you know, does want to pursue this. They want to take their time, get to get to know you on like a more intimate level. Maybe because there's been some kind of ending separation, they may feel like something has changed in their life or yours, and the two of you are going to come together. But it's going to have to move slow because maybe they're going through this kind of separation or so that's majorly changing their life. Three of Cups. Can you clarify one more time, please? Oh, okay. Yeah, they could be... Oh, somebody could be in the process of leaving behind a situation or there's some kind of family figure involved, like a mother, perhaps. And it's like they're kind of waiting for something to change. The two of you can come together. 
more openly. Again, their actions, we had the, the hangman, which is like staying in place. It's like their intentions are very positive. Their actions reflect something. It's like, not it's not bad. But what, what I want to say is this, and like I, I know I'm talking a lot, but I hope that this helps clarify and people to understand. Um, intentions are wonderful. We want to see positive intentions. But of course, the most important thing is the action because it's what someone's going to do or how they're going to follow through in like the immediate future. Uh, intentions are wonderful because I can have every intention of the world of going to the gym. I can call up my best friend and say, hey girl, meet me there at 9 a.m. I am ready. I'm prepared. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to stay motivated. But the day can come and something external factors can uh, can affect it. So, you know, for example, my car might not start or my kids don't sleep that night and I don't get any sleep or, you know, um, uh, somebody calls with a family emergency or I just don't feel good. Maybe I'm under the weather. There can be so many different things that can come up that can change someone's physical actions. Intentions means this is their plan. This is what they're going to do. This is what they're intending to do. But right now, it's like this person's not taking physical action. They're planning to, but just not at the moment. It's like they're kind of waiting, analyzing the situation, maybe taking care of some things, trying to get some things in order. Because they do want to move forward with you, but they're not trying to rush things. It's like they know that good things take time and that anything worth having is worth fighting for. Let us see if there's any messages this person would want to pass to you or things that you need to know in regards to your love life. You taught me how to love and be loved. So for some of you, it's more than just like a romantic relationship, you know. Um, there's also friendship here. It's like you were there for this person. You supported this person. You taught them a lot about themselves and about true love. They're saying that you stole my heart. So they have fallen in love with you. I never told you how much I appreciate you for loving me when I couldn't love myself. I feel so much guilt for mistreating you. And I wish I could take back the pain that I caused you. So this person may have disappointed you in the past. Or for some of you where you personally are dealing from a past situation that did not work out, there may be somebody here, you know, who does still want you back. Maybe that's part of the hesitation here. Maybe the, there's something here about somebody that still wants to chance with you. But maybe you're trying to explore this new connection with this person that you have feelings for. So that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.